That's right, you're gonna watch this. And how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the predictions video for Fastlane. Fastlane to WrestleMania on the Holds Bar Wrestling Podcast, where we are Canadian based WWE podcast that reviews and discusses about the WWE and No Holds Bar and anything we say, pun intended. You can follow the podcast on Twitter, join the conversation by tweeting and following at No Holds Bar WP. As well, you can listen to all previous episodes from the podcast on YouTube, Spreaker itself, and iTunes. I am your host, the self-proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters, and I am joined by my corporate co-host, the Blissful Boss, Corporate Cappy. As always. As always. All right. So we got the fast lane predictions, the fast lane to WrestleMania. Eight matches on the card. Eight matches on the card. For, for this uh, great pay-per-view, lead it, or <laughs> go-home pay-per-view for WrestleMania. Great, man. I'm so excited. <laughs> no, but we're still going to do a predictions for, uh, for you guys out there. And our thoughts on what we think of each match. So... so Kickoff cool. match. Kickoff match. We got Rich the, Swan. An actual watchable kickoff match, as I said in the lowdown show. Uh, cruiserweights. Rich Swan, Akira Tozawa versus Brian Kendrick and Noam Duh. Noam Duh with the, with the surely beautiful, the beautiful Alicia, Alicia Fox. Fox. And the man with the plan. Man with the plan. Uh, I like, I'm, I'm intrigued for this. Uh, it's actually a pre-show match. We could have some worse, like you know, Shining Stars against Big Show again. Or Titus O'Neil <laughs> versus someone in catering. No. <laughs> who else? Like, I'd rather see a cruiserweight match that actually has the potential to be somewhat good. I would so, too, and it gets the like you said in the lowdown show, it gets the crowd excited and actually yeah. gets them ready for the pay per view. Look at the wrestlers in the ring; all of them are are unreal. So I think it's going to be a really good showing. And I'm going to go though with uh, TJP and Rich Swan for the win. In TJP, my... yeah. Kira Tozawa. Or sorry, <laughs> Kira Tozawa and Rich Swan for the win. In the YCT yeah, I'm going with the faces as well with yeah. Ha and can you handle ha! can you handle this Ha, ha is their team name? Perkin, not Perkins. Not Perkins, yet. not there. No, so yeah, I'm going with Rich Swan and Kira Tozawa. Yep. I assume the faces will pick up the win in the pre-show. All right, let's get to the main card. So we'll get in the other cruiserweight match. Neville, the cruiserweight champion, defending against the gentleman Jack Gallagher, the king of the cruiserweights. The king of the cruiserweights. Against Jack Gallagher, such a yeah. s- such a stupid person to represent the UK. Yeah, Neville says that St- Gallagher is a disgraceful uh, stereotype. Stereotype. To okay, yeah. let's stop talking like him. I thought it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a good match. I honestly think there's gonna be a good showing here because both of them are really, really good wrestlers, and I think there'll be a lot of good spots if they let them do so. Uh, I want to say Gallagher is going to be the new champion, but I think Neville is going to retain to set up his feud with Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight title at WrestleMania. But I, I do think that it's going to be close. I do too. I think Gallagher will get a lot of big moves in, but Neville will retain. And or maybe be... or maybe Austin Aries interferes but still ends up uh, – or maybe interferes and causes a DQ and causes Neville to retain. Either, Either way, boots, Neville will boots continue. Gallagher but then turns on Neville. He will continue to be the king of the Cruiserweights Will Neville. Yeah. Uh, next, next match, what do we I don't got? even want to talk about this match. Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks in a pointless rematch from Royal Rumble. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going to happen in this match, man. Nothing. I, Absolutely nothing. Nothing's going to happen in this match. Is it going to be a double count out? Like, no, I, I no. kind of see a double count out happening. Nia's going to win again, as much as yeah. I don't want to say it. Nia's going to squash her. And hopefully it's the end of this atrocious feud. And hopefully later in the night, Sasha turns heel. And it ends the Nia and Sasha thing. I'm predicting Sasha somehow gets Nia to DQ herself, and Sasha picks up the win. That's my guess. Well, I'd like it, but I mean, I'm, I I'm, I'm not really optimistic way. right now. I think Nia is probably going to get the win again. Or maybe Sasha DQs by grabbing a chair and beats the shit out of Nia Jax. Where, that'd be kind of that'd be kind of. I'm just done with this feud. I never wanted it to begin with. I don't want it anymore. As much I know, as I did it's then. terrible. It's definitely just a filler on the spot kind of match. It's it's useless. No one actually. If anyone actually cares about this match, you have something wrong with you. So we're just gonna move on from that. And poor Sasha being put in this feud with Nia and having the whole injury angle, and hopefully yeah. it's done after Sunday. Next match, we've got the tag team champions Gallows and Anderson versus Enzo and Cass. Uh, Enzo and Cass won't win. Club are going to retain here. I, Enzo and Cass will probably win at WrestleMania. So I don't care about this match because they've ruined the club for me. So They've ruined Enzo and yeah. Cass for me too. And, to and that too. So whatever. Club wins, retains. Enough, enough, enough uh, said. I'm picking the club to beat uh, KFC Georgia Gold spokesman. There you go. <laughs> Next match. 
Uh, <laughs> Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe. Oh, okay. Actually the like only match. match I'm looking forward to on the entire card. I hope they let these guys wrestle, and it's not just Samoa Joe squashing Sami Zayn. As much as that probably will happen, I want to see these guys wrestle. I feel like they there's need al- to let them wrestle. I feel like there's always a one long match in the middle of the pay per view, and I feel like this. I hope this is this match. I hope it is too. For for the sake of both these guys and the treatment they get, I hope they get a good showing at the pay per view. But knowing Vince, they don't want to take the spotlight away from Braun and Roman and Goldberg or Oldberg. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a squash match. That's it. But I'm still going with Joe anyway. Yeah. No way Joe loses Joe. his debut. I don't think so either. I think Joe wins. But they're, they're trying to build him up as this dominant guy. He's got to beat Sami Zayn. But as long as Zayn looks good in the match yeah. and looks like at points that he could win the match, I'm okay with if it. If Zayn wins, I'll be fucking pissed off. I'll, I'll, pff, they've ruined Samoa Joe. If Zayn wins here, Joe is ruined for his entire career in the WWE. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked because they ruined Zayn before. Might as well yeah. do it with Joe. Yeah. Next match. Uh, Bailey versus Charlotte for the women's title. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't get behind my girl Bailey because I don't care because I already know what's going to happen. Charlotte's going to win somehow. She's going <laughs> to win the title back somehow because they're not going to tarnish her, her pay-per-view cr- her record until WrestleMania. It's so bluntly obvious. This is the most obvious match on the card. Okay, Maybe one of them at least. Charlotte's going to win. And if they Enough did said. break it, it would make zero yeah. sense. Dana Brooke is going to somehow get involved and help Charlotte win. 100%. Maybe Sasha gets involved and like helps Bailey. Bailey... If there's some what I don't know some from miracle that Bailey retains, then they've ruined Charlotte already. Then she's already ruined. And two, this it could be a good opportunity for Sasha to turn heel, but it's not the right moment. If you're gonna do it this way, have Charlotte win, have her like go up the stage with like uh, with Dana Brooke and uh, and Charlotte, and then have like Sasha co- consult like you know say it's okay yeah. Bailey man it's okay you know, you'll get another chance, and then have Sasha turn on Bailey right there. I just that, if or, not, then I don't give a shit about this match. I could also see Char- Sasha trying to help Bailey and end up end screwing up her. screwing her yeah. over, and then Bailey gets mad, which yeah. ends up leading to the snowball of a heel turn. Yeah. Or I could also see them going the route of Sasha comes out, beats the crap out of Dana Brooke, and then yeah. looks like she's about to hit Charlotte and hits Bailey. Instead. I can't get Charlotte. I can't. I can't see Bailey looking mad. And getting frustrated at Sasha Banks. They're making her look too too baby face to even do that. But oh. that's also a good prediction. I, the, the second one there, I kind of see that happening too. But other than that, I don't give a fuck about the match. Charlotte's going to win Charlotte's somehow. winning that's the it. title back that's again it. for N- the fifth said. time. The, the the carousel with the Raw Women's title yeah. will continue. Yeah, it's getting too hot for her hands now. Hot potato. Got to pass it on to the next one. Sorry, Bailey. You had it for like two weeks and it's like burning your hands. Well, we got two matches left. What do you want to talk about first? Uh, let's get freaking uh, Oldberg and Owens out of the way. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, spoiler alert. Squash match imminent. <laughs> Between two and four minutes long, I'm guessing. Maybe five. We'll probably reach five. But Goldberg wins. I feel so bad for Owens. Brock's being... going to get involved somehow. I don't think he will. But if he does, I think you'd make say sense. that he'd screw Goldberg. Over. I, okay. This the, the one scenario I had here is... Goldberg should pull, or Brock Lesnar should pull what Goldberg did in the same time, coincidentally, in No Way Out 2004. What did Goldberg do? He screwed Brock Lesnar out of the WWE Championship match and made Eddie Guerrero win because Goldberg interfered and attacked Brock Lesnar. Remember that? Yeah, but if Brock should be the opposite smart, right now. But, but if I, Brock's smart, he knows that he's going to have a championship match guaranteed against Goldberg if he wins. What if he doesn't give a fuck about the championship? He just wants to end well, the whole thing around Goldberg. Apparently, Gold. according to that Paul, that, that awkward Paul Heyman promo last week, he does know and he does care about that. I so. don't know. Maybe he he it looks like he's gonna. Or Paul Heyman it, trolls us all. Who or knows? maybe he looks like he's gonna. Maybe the referee's knocked out somewhere here and he's gonna attack Owens, or he's gonna attack Brock Lesnar, or he's gonna sorry Brock Lesnar's gonna attack Goldberg, but he ends up attacking Owens instead and kind of helping Goldberg win, in a way. I don't know. Some something's gonna happen here. I hope my fantasy route and I'm, the, the route I'm hoping is that if Brock Lesnar interferes, it costs Goldberg his title shot. It would make sense. It would build frustration in Goldberg, uh, and it would build the frustration that Goldberg needs to intensify their feud with Brock Lesnar heading into WrestleMania. Have 
Kevin Owens retain and have the double title match that they were freaking talking about weeks ago. Have that happen. That's a freaking match. Everyone would match. love Everyone that. Would love that. But a double the problem title is match. that Vince and Kevin Dunn don't want that. No, they, they, they want the opposite. They want the past to be present in the universe. Who is going to get excited sense. for Brock Lesnar Goldberg main event of WrestleMania when we've seen it twice already? Yeah. Well, twice. Yeah. That doesn't need a title match. It's so so bad. And some no one wants. It's gonna happen. Whatever. It's gonna happen. I'm picking Goldberg. It's gonna sure. happen. Whatever. <laughs> and Goldberg. I feel so bad for Owens because he deserves more than a squash match. Yeah. But it's gonna. I'm guarant- telling you right now. Time it. It's gonna be just under five minutes. If that. If Goldberg that. will win it. So he'll yeah. get his one or last five swan- something. He'll get his one last swan song sure. tie title run before he's done at WrestleMania. Fuck Goldberg. Okay. And we'll get in to the oh. great main event of the evening. It's gonna be the main event. I said. <laughs> On the Lauren show is going to be. It's going to be the main event. Knowing Vince and Kevin Dunn, they want their boys to end the show off of Fastlane. It's going to be Roman Reigns against Braun Strowman in the main event. Heaven forbid you put your your major title in the main event. No, it's going to be these two. They're going to have. I'm telling you, this is how it's going to go. They're going to have their match. They're going to throw each other around the ring. There's going to be a spear there, a throw there, a power slam there. Dong Undertaker's going to come out, set up his match with Roman Reigns. Braun Strowman is going to pin Roman Reigns here, and that's it. End of story. End of pay per view. Worst pay per view of all time. There, I just saved you three hours on Sunday. Uh, I don't know. I could see them obviously going down that that route of Taker coming out. Because what did Vince, or they said a couple weeks ago, Vince planning a huge finish. Yeah, well, yeah Undertaker. Match. Huge. <laughs> so so predictable. But do they? does he have Reigns lose to Braun? Yes. You cannot make Braun look weak going into WrestleMania if the thing you're going to do with him is make him go into the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. You can't look make him look credible as a, as a strong man Losing to Roman Reigns and then winning the Andre it makes no sense. Did they do that to Roman though? It going into his match with Taker. That makes sense because Undertaker screwed Roman Reigns. He's gonna he's gonna appear in the ring and cost Roman Reigns the match. <laughs> I don't care about this match. Honest I, to I God, I don't either. Oh, I'll, I'll, if that's the main event, I'm saving you guys an hour right here. You can go to bed for you can go to bed an hour early. You don't have to watch or 45, whatever how long this match is gonna be. You can go to bed early. Don't watch it. I'm telling you right now. They're going to throw each other around. There's going to be a spear, Superman punch, power slam here and there, all over the place. Dung, Taylor comes out, end of match. There you go. You don't need to watch the end of the pay-per-view. <laughs> you can give it a fucking 2 out of 10. It's going to be the worst pay-per-view of all time. Fuck Fastlane. Fuck WWE. Fuck Raw. That's it. <laughs> that sounds like a good way to end it, so I'm going to go with Strowman too. Yeah, Strowman wins. LOL. I don't fucking care. I don't, I'm just I glad that... else to say about You know what's going to be sad? When Strowman's going to be the baby face in this match. And Roman's going to be the heel. When Braun Strowman is your baby face you have in a match, wrong. you know yeah. the guy you're facing. Vince, do you see what's going on right now? Do you watch your product? Besides two guys, you don't care about anyone else. <laughs> That's why you're making this this match the main event. The big finish. Ooh, what? Are we going to see a, a, a swanton bomb by Braun Strowman? Whoa, big finish. Ooh. Are we going to see another kick up by Braun Strowman? Yeah, we Some, see him uh... break out of his, like he got up from the spear through the barricade. Is that all you got? <laughs> Braun Strowman. Yeah, so... that all, then we'll hear this. <laughs> he gets a spear, that's what we're going to fucking hear. <laughs> so that's it for Fastlane, but... Guaranteed to be the worst pay-per-view of all time. Guaranteed. Especially of the... Uh, it will be the... When we look back at it for our slammies, it will be the worst pay-per-view of the year. It will be. I'm tell, I'm going to fucking star this review on our, our YouTube. This is going to be the worst pay-per-view. I, I cannot wait to actually do a review for this because I have, I have a is lot it, to say. Is it going to be as worse as Roadblock? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My review for this might be the same video as I did for the Royal Rumble. If it's bad, you're gonna it see. Doesn't even deserve. You're gonna see a, a Braun Strowman card and a Roman Reigns card go into the trash can. It'll be or if I have, I'll I'll have the same trash can with the two cards in there already, and I'll just throw Braun Strowman in there. Actually, I'll take Randy Orton now. He's been doing good lately. <laughs> so, well, that's, that's our fast lane. That's our fast lane. You t- let us know, guys, what you think is gonna happen. Let us know in the comments down below. Follow us on Twitter. Let us know on Twitter. Let us know uh, what you guys think of Fastlane. Is it going to be the worst pay per view of all time? Or prove it, us wrong. Or is this big finish that Vince thinks is going to happen going to happen? I don't know. We'll see. Not looking forward to it, but whatever. No, we'll see.
That's going to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen, for the Fast Lane Predictions on No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast. We are your Canadian-based WWE podcast that reviews and discusses anything about the WWE and No Holds Barred. Anything we say, pun intended. Go check out the Lowdown Show Brain Wars from this past week where we discuss Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night Smackdown and other segments on the show that have their new themes. So go check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, you can follow the podcast on Twitter and join in the conversation by tweeting at No Holds Barred. WP, as well as you can go see all previous episodes of the podcast on YouTube, Spreaker, and iTunes. As always, I'm your host, the greatest host, self-proclaimed the greatest host, Kyle Masters. And I'm continuing to be joined by my co-host, the boss, blissful boss, Mr. Corporate himself, Corporate Cappy. Kathleen, please don't bliss me off. And that's it, guys. See you later. Hey. Carpe diem, baby, season.